a short axis view of the distal biceps. So we're looking at the biceps muscle here. Come down and it forms, the tendon forms on napineurosis that forms up in the middle of the muscle and coalesces at the top of the image here. Just as we get to the crease of the elbow, the tendon will start descending. It's this point that you have to roll the probe round. You're keeping it in short axis, but you're moving round medially and the tendon descends here. Try not to lose it. You'll see the artery passing over the top of it. You come down in the short axis here, you come all the way around until you see the tendon open out here and it spreads out and has a broad insertion over the radial tubercle here. And so this is the point where you really focus your attention. You get the bone horizontal and you make sure you get rid of all the anisotropy. And actually at this point, you can, rather than trying to move around the tendon, you can actually supinate and pronate and draw the tendon through your picture there. That makes it much easier to, uh, to control the anisotropy. You will need to push down, move the cursor out of the way, move around a little bit further to get right to the insertion. And in full supination there you see the fibres flatten out just as you lose your picture there. Right now turn the probe 90 degrees. Here. And bring the probe further up. And this is your long section. I just have to change my grip. So I hold over the top. And there you have the long section of the biceps inserting into the radial tubercle here. And again, rotate round, brings the tendon into the view right up to the insertion and I move the cursor out of the way, always pushing all the way through the tendon because there are two parts and in some patients you see nice clear definition between the long head and the short head portion of the tendon.